Okay. Enough about us. We're here tonight to introduce you to Mr. David Morley, the CEO and President of UNICEF Canada since 2011. Mr. Morley's extensive experience in international cooperation began when he volunteered with street children in Central America in the 1970s. Since then, he has worked in community development and humanitarian projects in Congo, Zambia, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Mexico, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, and Brazil. Prior to his appointment to UNICEF Canada, Mr. Morley served as President and CEO of Save the Children Canada, and before that, as Executive Director of the Canadian Section of Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders. He is currently a member of the Board of Directors of the Stephen Lewis Foundation, and is on the advisory board of McGill University's Institute for Study of the International Development. What accomplishment, but <laughs> enough about enough introductions. We'll let him give uh, the details himself. Without further ado, everyone, Mr. Morley. A pleasure to be here because, for many reasons, but one is that the McGill Club is the largest of the student clubs that we have, that UNICEF has in all of Canada. And the fundraising that you guys do makes makes a real difference to children around the world and by raising awareness about UNICEF it's you're carrying things even further so it's a real thanks to to both of you to the whole club and for everybody for being here humanitarian impulse for all of those colleagues starts with with um, a sense of altruism a sense of trying to make trying to do things better but you, you never know how it's going to be politicized. You never know how it's, you're going to be perceived by others. And so some of the, the rules of international humanitarian law and international humanitarian assistance are what we use to try and be sure that our people can be safe when they're delivering aid in a time of conflict. At Médecins Sans Frontières, our religion was Western medicine, and that we believed that Western scientific rational medicine was what was the best thing. For the, the, the founder of Save the Children is the, uh, was an English woman, and she was the first woman, first person to ever try and write out what should children's rights be. And, and for us at, at UNICEF, we are guided by the Convention on the Rights of the Child. It's, the, it's been signed by more conventions than any other international document in the world, and it names UNICEF. But that's our job, to uphold and preserve the rights of children around the world. These all become our lenses, and when you're in a conflict, it's really hard to stay neutral and independent because we all have our own biases behind, behind, it, behind us. And one of the things that, that I have always, I, I've come to learn, is that military tactics, in any conflict, military tactics always, always win. That's why schools get targeted, that's why clinics get targeted, that's why you have to engage with the military forces, because if you don't, you have to talk with them, because they're just gonna think about military tactics, because when people start fighting, that's, that becomes extremely, extremely important. So we got into Kinkala, and I was, our medical teams were providing assistance to the s t small civilian population that was living there. And I was really wondering, what, why are we doing this? What, what's, what's the purpose? And it's not making any difference. This war isn't going in. It's that the war is not stopping, and, and we're not going to help it stop. That night we had a little dinner and, and a, a Congolese nurse was there and it's as though she read my mind. She was what she read, she could figure out what, what the question was that I was asking. I didn't ask it aloud. She said, you don't know what it means for us to have you, you people come here. You don't know what it's like when we see those trucks or those, those, those uh, Jeeps come through, and you're there, you're wearing your UNICEF t-shirt like you guys are wearing, or you're wearing your MSF t-shirt, or your SAVE t-shirt. Because when you may go to all that trouble to come through here,
then you help us. We know that the outside world hasn't forgotten. It gives us strength to go on with our daily lives. We know we can't stop this war, and we know we're stuck in it, but we know we're not forgotten. And just knowing that we're not forgotten gives us some more strength to carry on until, until the, the war is solved. God, we have a moral duty, I believe to be able to go, to try and make a difference, and to engage in these paradoxes and think them through so that those of you who, I don't know if anybody's here taking medieval history, but those of you who will go from here and end up working as a colleague of mine at UNICEF or a colleague with MSF or Save the Children, you'll figure out some of these rules and the way to make some of these rules work.